It takes tough people to cut down trees, set chokers, sling rigging, chase landing, process logs with massive equipment, and load logs onto trucks. But out here in the wilderness, the terrain is challenging and the weather unpredictable. And just being tough won't get you through the day. Being safe will. Let's start with three things you can do right away that will save you and your team from getting hurt. Take care of yourself, stay alert, and have strong teamwork. Taking care of yourself off the job ensures that you're physically and mentally prepared for the tough work ahead. Get enough sleep. Stay home when you're sick. Stay hydrated. Avoid drugs and alcohol before and during your shift. And eliminate distractions, including your cell phone. Make sure you know your employer's policy on checking your phone throughout the day. It's okay to take breaks throughout the day to drink water or cool off. Keep an eye out for signs of heat stress in your coworkers, like dizziness, confusion, and loss of consciousness. Take your time to get acquainted with the environment you're working in. Being aware and attentive will prevent slips, trips, and falls, getting struck by dangerous debris and equipment, and many other hazards including fire. Speaking of fire, handle all tools and flammable liquids with caution and store them responsibly, keeping them properly marked with descriptive labels for all chemicals and containers. Never store them near machinery or direct heat. And always remember, getting the job done quickly is not as important as doing it safely. Each crew member has an important role to play on a logging site but it's strong teamwork that gets the job done. Teamwork means speaking up when you notice hazards or unsafe behavior. Like a coworker not wearing the right personal protective equipment for the job. Or if you notice someone jumping off machinery. These seemingly harmless actions can lead to traumatic injuries and major operational delays. Every person on a job site has a responsibility to listen and ask questions. In the brush, that means getting in the clear, listening for whistles, and heeding instructions from the rigging slinger. Crews need to communicate so that everyone is clear of moving machinery. When the equipment is too loud, use hand gestures and make eye contact to ensure everyone is on the same page. Make sure you understand all hand signals before you begin work. Stick to routine to avoid surprises and accidents. Lockout tagout is an important element of communication. If you are repairing a tool or performing maintenance on a machine, use the lockout tagout method so someone can't use it while you are working on it. It's everyone's job to report injuries and near misses to supervisors so they don't happen again. No matter what you're doing out there, good communication is everyone's job. Looking the part of a logger isn't about making a fashion statement. It's about choosing the right personal protective equipment, or PPE, that will keep you safe on the job. Let's start with your footwear. The right shoes can protect you from many types of injuries. Equipment operators should use lace-up leather boots with firm ankle support. If you work in the heavy brush or walk on logs, you'll need to use cork boots. Make sure your footwear is well maintained. If your corks wear out, make sure they are replaced. And while we talk about feet, remember, three is key. Maintain three points of contact when getting on and off equipment. Chainsaws are some of the most commonly used tools in logging, but if you're not wearing the right PPE when using one, you risk getting a terrible cut or worse. Chaps are required while operating a chainsaw. Like other PPE, make sure they are well maintained. Now for upper body PPE. 
breathable cotton shirts are best to avoid overheating. And long sleeves, while not required for equipment operators, can help you avoid cuts and bruises from branches and debris. Wearing a bright colored safety vest makes you more visible to your crew members, especially those working at a distance. Seat belts worn tightly across your chest can protect you from injuries if equipment rolls due to steep terrain. Last, let's talk about head protection. Always wear a hard hat on a logging site, except when operating machinery. If your hat has dents or is worn out, replace it. It could save your life. Always wear a brightly colored hat for visibility. Avoid hearing loss caused by noisy machinery by wearing clean, properly fitted earplugs. Wear safety glasses whenever you're exposed to flying debris. Loggers need tough gear to protect them from whatever dangers they could encounter. But being a good logger isn't about the way you look. It's about how safe you choose to be. Logging is tough, but rewarding work. It takes safe people to get the job done right. To learn more, visit safe.com slash logging.